The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 130 pounds, Cry Baby Clown. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. And I'd also like to add that this match will go a long way in determining the pecking order here in WWE. Yeah, and he's hoping his stock continues to rise. A loss here, though, would certainly crush those hopes. It's Hell in a Cell, so we know there are no disqualifications or countouts. You can only walk out of that demonic structure a winner via pinfall or submission. Well, Hell in a Cell is one of the most brutal and dangerous matches in the history of WWE. Just look through the annals of history to see what havoc has been wrought in that steel cage enclosure. Well, they call it Hell in a Cell for a reason. It was easy, they'd call it Picnic in the Park or something. Well, your point is well taken, Byron. Victory must be won inside the ring, and anything not nailed to the ground can be used as a weapon. This is where the dark forces of evil are unleashed. Oh, nasty impact. We're on... You gotta be kidding me. I kid you not! Powerbomb through the wall! After that shot, even I'm seeing stars. Bringing it back between the ropes. He's taken to the outside.
He's climbing the cell now, guys. On the move. And I assure you, this is all about making a statement. A crazy statement. Climbing the cell wall. Oh, this is where it gets very nerve-wracking. Oh my God, not from up on top of the cell. I can't watch this, I cannot oh watch this. God. Attacking the core now. Yeah, without your core, Michael, you are essentially useless. Here he goes, right up the side of the cell. Making it look easy. Oh my God, no, no, Put no. Put it down, oh, oh my God! Ouch. Continuing the attack on the core. And why not? It's been effective up to this point. And root up the side of the cell. Better hurry up. Well, there's no surprise here. He's clearly more comfortable on the cell than he is in it. Oh my gosh. Okay, great. Now come back down. Shut up, Saxton. Keep climbing. He's finding himself in trouble here. He won't quit, but it might be better if he did. His midsection is getting absolutely destroyed here, Corey. At this point, he has to be concerned about internal damage. Here he goes, right up the side of the cell. Making it look easy. If he's smart, he turns around and goes right back down the cell. We're about to see. Oh, no, no. Through the table, through the table. He's got the shoulders down. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. And he's heading back in. We continue to see incredible perseverance from these competitors. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. His offense is second to none at times like this. Now leaving the ring for the comfort of that chain link L.
impressive was that reversal? Had it scouted. Oh my goodness. Good night. Battling to get the upper hand. The pain's too great. They tapped out. That's the match. Here is your winner, the Reaper. And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not overcomplicate things. This business is simple. It's all about wins and losses. And it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. And a big thank you to everybody watching WWE's Hell in a Cell on the WWE Network. What an amazing match we just witnessed.